when we use the modifier. And let me see. I'm just going to add some loop cuts right here. I'll add a loop cut right there. Add a loop cut right here. And I'm going to go in the vertex mode. I'm going to select these verts right here. Press F to fill. Select these right here. Press F to fill. So you know, you can see what I'm, what I'm doing here. I'm just filling in just the edge well, I didn't bring this out on the Z, the Z axis so scale that move that and grab that in press 5 to go on this flat view I forgot the name of it but vertex mode I'm just gonna make this you know a flat thing right here flat face flat face I gotta merge these two B box select remove doubles threshold up get this edge and this edge and this edge I press his hide it. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Face. Just going to pick a random texture just to cut it off. And I'm going to rotate that around like that. I keep hitting tab And this right here I'll get select all these faces and you can keep I can keep that same texture but I was I'm gonna keep the same texture I'm gonna put it in view like that okay let's get get to the part I'm gonna remove shadow or my lights is in this put that in layer one for I can have the lights in layer one with me I right, now since I got that done what I need to do I need to make I need to get a, a curve this is when I use the modifier sorry about how long I took and I'm gonna use this path uh, modifier oh, let me delete that shift s I'm putting it in the center that's the reason why I put this right here at that uh, at that center and I'm going to to wireframe and I'm going Shift A, add, make a path. This is the path that I'm going to use. And I rotated it 90 degrees and move it up. Well, go into edit mode and move it all the way to the end like that. The origin at the middle and the path is going up like that. So what I need to do with this for it to make curves, make a curve properly, I need to add in some loop cuts. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Control R. I'm going to add in about. That's good enough loop cuts. That many loop cuts. Some loop cuts right here, and that'd be good. For it to for it to curve properly, I'm going to this path. All right. Alright, cool. Going to add modifier array. You see that the array modifier added on this with the x axis. We're not going to use fixed count, but you can, you know, you don't have to use the curve modifier. You can use this and you can just modify it out to how long you want. You see, you can just repeat the process, count four. But we're going to use uh, fit curve. And the curve is called Nerm's path. So now the curve is right here. If you see, when I stretch out this curve, the modifier 
it it pulls it pulls that that uh that plane out to how I want it. But now I want it to follow follow the curve. So I need to use another modifier. This is the array modifier and uh I'm gonna use the curve modifier. Object Nerm's path. It moved it up a little bit though. You see that? When I move the curve it follows. And this is very helpful. You're about to see in a minute. And this hold up. I need to do start cap. And call this start. This is gonna be the start cap that I was talking about when it connects. This is the end and this is gonna be the mid. Start cap. Call it start. And you see it merged it to it. But I gotta move this. It added the start cap to it. Okay. Now since you got all that done, you got the the curve, and you could just actually just extrude it extrude it out to however you want. I'm in the side view right now. And this is like you can really cheat your way. I'm saying they did that in generations. Ain't no way they um you know, waste their time modeling and all of that. You could just use curve. Well, of course they didn't use Blender, but they use something else. This can be very helpful. You can make your boosting for all the boosting people out there. Come out the womb boosting, born, love to boost all their life. But I think I'm about done here. And you see what you can do with that. Just the curve, it follow the curve real good. Make sure you can move it out and extrude it more. You can make like a track, track nation, whatever you call it. I said track nation. I forgot the name of it. I used to play it. What Mod nation racers or whatever. Huh. And see? Shoot, this is not even like Sonic. It is gonna be Sonic related, but this can be more like a race car game related. So I hope uh, they help you. And also start cap. You can use this as end cap. You see it added as end cap over here. Well, I need to. I'm gonna duplicate that. This right here over here. Just duplicate that out, rotate it 180 degrees, call it in like that, and grab, grab, uh, just pull it up here. I'm going to grab all these. I'm just gonna merge them to that end. Remove doubles. Remove 12 doubles. There you go. Wula. Uh, 